Chapter 19 focus on sales, excise, and property taxes. Different types of taxes that may be charged by the state. We'll first begin with sales tax. Sales tax are paid on certain goods and services. For the most part, you're going to pay sales tax on goods that you purchase. The sales tax rate are going to be set by each state. So it depends upon what state you're in. It can depend upon what county you're in. So for example, if you are buying a product in St. Louis City compared to St. Louis County, you will pay a different sales tax rate. Even if you're in Florissant compared to Jennings, compared to Berkeley, they each have different type of sales tax rate. So if you are a retailer, a merchant, you're going to collect these funds, you charge your customers sales tax, and then those funds are forwarded to the appropriate government agencies, such as the Missouri Department of Revenue. So keep in mind, if you're selling a product and you're charging sales tax, the sales tax does not belong to you. You're collecting funds for the state government and you have to pay them at certain time throughout the accounting period. For example, let's say that we're selling batteries with a sales price of $32. We're going to ship them. Shipping charge is $3.50. We're going to give the client a discount of $10.50 and the sales tax rate is going to be 5%. So the actual sales tax is based upon the taxable amount of the product being sold. So the $32 minus the trade discount gives us a taxable amount of $21.50. We'll take that amount times the tax rate of 5%. They'll pay $1.08 in sales tax. We're now going to add the actual price of the item along with the tax and the shipping cost to the total price paid by the customer would equal $26.08. So if you want to double check that, we know that the sales price amount plus the sales tax will equal 105 percent so if you multiply the 2150 which is the taxable amount times 1.05 it should equal the amount of the product along with the sales tax now sometimes you have a problem where in the cash register it will show total sales but it does not indicate what portion was for sales what portion was for sales tax to do these type of calculations you take your total sales divide that by one plus the tax rate for example let's assume there's forty thousand in the cash register for the day which includes a 7% sales tax. The question is, what are the actual sales? So we're saying how much of the 40,000 represents the actual sales, how much represents the sales tax? To do these type of calculations, you'll take total sales, divide that by one plus the tax rate, 7% is 0.07 as a decimal. This means that the actual sales were $37,383.18. And if you take this amount times 7%, it'll give you sales tax of $2,616.82. So if you add the amount of the sales, plus the sales tax, it would give us a total in the cash register of the $40,000. So if you have a situation where you're giving the total amount in the cash register, but they don't indicate 
what portion of sales, what portion of sales tax, you always divide the total amount in the register by one plus the sales tax rate. So if the rate is 5%, it would be 1.05. If it's 6%, 1.06. If it's 7%, like in our problem, it would be 1.07. So once you add the taxable or the sales amount plus the sales tax, again, it will give us the total amount to be shown in the cash register. Excise tax. Perhaps you're saying, what is this type of tax? This is a tax imposed on luxury items such as cars and jewelries and also non-essential such as cigarettes. So the excise tax is a tax based on a percentage of the retail price of a product or a service. This means that the state may impose an excise tax on certain items. So in the state of Missouri, there is an excise tax imposed upon cigarettes, vapors, and things of that nature. The excise tax normally is going to be a percentage of the retail price of their product or service. For example, Angel bought a fur coat for $5,000. The sales tax is 7% and the excise tax is 8%. So the excise tax often is charged what's called luxury items as well as non-essentials. We're asking what is her total cost? The coat costs 5,000. The sales tax is 7% of the 5,000 or $350. The excise tax is 8% of the 5,000 or $400. Therefore, the total cost for this fur coat it's $5,750. So on certain items, you have to pay a sales tax as well as an excise tax. So next time you buy an item, look at your receipt to see what type of taxes you're paying in addition to the actual sales tax. Property taxes. Taxes, taxes, taxes. So there are certain states you must pay what's known as a property tax. These taxes are used by their local municipality, that city, to do things such as paying for the local fire department, schools, the police, uh, bridges, playgrounds, etc. So when we think about where you live, you're paying a property tax to help improve your community. Now, the actual amount paid for property taxes are based upon the assessed value of your property. So if you have an actual house, we're going to look at the assessed value of that property to determine the amount that must be paid for property taxes. The assessed value is the value of the property for the purpose of computing a property tax. What does that mean? It means that that state or municipality, say, such as St. Louis County or St. Louis City, they're going to assess a value to your property based upon some type of system that they're going to put in place. And based upon the assessed value assigned by St. Louis City or St. Louis County, that will determine the amount that you have to pay and property taxes on your actual property. The assessed value is going to be the assessment rate assigned by that particular state or county or municipality times the market value of that property. So they may say the assessed value is going to be 20% of the market value of that property. So based upon what they call the market value which is how much your property is worth times the assessment rate that would give them what's known as the assessed value. We're going to do one example and then we'll come back and talk more about this topic known as property tax. 
Now, the actual tax rate that's charged by St. Louis County or St. Louis cities is based upon the budget needs for that city, county, or municipality. They'll look at the budget need divided by the total assessed value of all properties in that county or municipality to determine the overall tax rate. For example, if, say, a small county has a budget of they need $125,000, they look at all the property in that county and said it has a total assessed value of $1,930,000, then the tax rate per dollar is going to be 0 0.0648, which is roughly about 6.48%. Okay? I'm going to stop here on this first part. I'm going to come back with the same topic and talk more about how to determine the property taxes paid on your personal property. Stay tuned.